work. I just did an unboxing video. And I didn't have my camera turned on. Fucking dork. But anyways, here we go. Oh, <laughs> once again. This is the plant I unboxed. Without you. But she does have a little bit of damage on her leaves from the heat. She came from Florida and it has been super hot here. This is a uh, Mandela Gregory Hambali. It is a beautiful, beautiful plant. Now, <laughs> I haven't found a whole, whole lot of research on it. There's been a little bit here and there and pretty much it all says the same, but um, it does come from, uh, it is a tropical plant, it comes from New Guinea from what I have researched. Look at the beautiful, beautiful burgundy leaves on the back and then it has this gorgeous green leaf with burgundy veining. It's gorgeous and it's really soft. Um, it is, uh, semi-epiphytic plant, so, from the research I've done on it, um, it, uh, I'm just gonna kind of grow it like my orchids, it's saying that it needs to dry out in between waterings and then I did find another one that said don't let it dry completely out but I'm gonna do a little more research and her soil is damp right now so I'm not gonna worry about watering her um, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I want to grow her but I know I'm gonna put her in a clay pot I know that for a fact. And I wanted to see what he had planted on the grower. But it looks like it's just all peat. Ah, this is a plug. Ah, he's got oh, he's got a little bit of bark in here. But this is a plug. See? Which it did not say it was a plug on the website, but that's okay. I'm just gonna loosen this up a tiny little bit and I think what I'm gonna do is I wasn't going to repot her right now I'm going to flip up a picture right now and show you what this plant looks like mature okay guys I went in and got my material um, I did a little more research and there's just not a whole lot out there but I'm going to go ahead and just grow like an orchid. It said it needs well draining soil. And the one website I was looking at said use a little bit of spag. So what I did was a little bit of spag here, which I'm probably not going to use all that. She's only going in this little tiny clay pot. And then I got some like a beads and my regular I use the cocoa choir and perlite so what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna just see how much I need here that looks pretty good measure that out So I'm going to just grow her like an orchid. Uh, they are semi-epiphytic, so I'm assuming they do need to dry down. Um, 
it's doesn't grow on trees and it doesn't specifically grow in the ground so it's kind of a different plant um, it does get bright pink flowers as you guys seen in the pictures that I just so showed, showed you if I can speak up the stem is where the blooms come from isn't that gorgeous and they they're just big bright clusters and um, it does need a free draining soil this does take indirect light so I am gonna just grow her right here on my front porch and she will get tons of light um, but nothing bright you know she won't get direct sun um, it it can bloom all year round I'm assuming once it's mature so you know, we will just uh, see how that goes. Sorry, I keep thinking I'm seeing stuff, but I don't see nothing. But anyways, what I'm going to do is, oh, and it also said feed weekly. So, I will be doing that. I'm going to be adding some feed to her today. So what I'm going to do, this will fill up the whole pot. I'm going to add some Weka just for drainage because I, I don't have any bark. The Weka will work to suit that purpose for me. So I am just going to, I'm going to kind of just dump it all in. I have used the Leco with soil a couple times and it's fine. I'm gonna break this up a little bit. Just kind of get it smaller. I guess what I'll do is try to grow this as a couple of my more terrestrial orchids that I have except um, like I said instead of the bark I'm, I'm using the Leca and I have done that before so well, we will just see how this goes and if I find she's not happy in this mixture I'll take her out and try something different. Maybe I'll put her in all Lekka or Lava Rock, or maybe I will. I just have to see what she's kind of doing. See how her roots respond. So, okay. That looks pretty good. It's not going to be. Well, Lekka is really hard to mix on. You just kind of got to. I think that's going to be enough spag. So I am just going to start getting her potted up and then get her a drink. Now these actually, like if you live in Florida, um, or you know, a warm, where it stays warm all year round, it said I found a zone uh, 9 through 10, I believe. So you can grow these right outside. Lucky you. I'm just going to stick the plug down in here. I already loosened the plug up a little bit. And I am going to feed her. This is my Espoma. I don't have any worm castings right now, so but the Espoma works great. I'm gonna just grab a few of these because they don't really stay together.
but this is a beautiful plant as you guys seen in the pictures I, I wanted this plant for a while and there's actually another one that I want and it is gorgeous so hopefully I can find that one soon too it's another Mandela or however you say it I don't know how you say it for sure <laughs> Surprise, surprise, huh? Some of these names. There, that looks uh, pretty good. I think I am trying to... Spag out of here. And then I am just going to water her in thoroughly with the water that I have here. I'm just going to go ahead and give her a drink. That's great. It's it's draining nicely, so just pushing it down a little bit to stabilize her. That looks good. I'm happy with the draining with the drainage. And, uh, that's it, guys. I really don't know much else what to say. Um, like I said, I, I wasn't able to find a whole, whole lot of information on this plant. And, you know, this is some heat damage. Unfortunately. But, I will definitely keep you guys updated on this plant. I have a few more plants coming, so I ordered several this week, or, yeah, this week, this is Friday already, the third, so hopefully uh, her leaves will straighten up, but she does have one really good one, so I'm going to let her sit in this water for a little while, just to make sure that my soil is completely moist, and then I'll dump it out and set her over here um, on my front porch. So you guys have a great day and I will talk to you later. Isn't she gorgeous? Alright, take it, take it easy you guys. Bye. Peace.